It looks like something out of the TV show CSI, but the scientists in this ProMedica lab aren't trying to solve crimes. They are processing patient DNA samples to see which medications will work best for them. It's called pharmacogenomics. We call it personalized medicine, um, so we're kind of trying to figure out what drugs might be best suited for a person based on their genetic makeup. We are looking at the way people's genes vary between individuals and those variations can cause changes in the drug metabolizing enzymes. They can either be slightly slower, they can not work at all, or occasionally they actually work faster. And that metabolism determines if the medication will work for you. It's a simple test for patients, just a cheek swab, but the information technicians can obtain from those samples is revolutionizing patient care because doctors can prescribe drugs they know will work for each specific patient. The biggest benefit for the patient is that they're stabilized faster. You can actually pick drugs that are more likely to work. Um, whereas with trial and error, um, you, you may go through three or four, or even five different medications before you find one that stabilizes the patient. And some of these patients simply don't function well without their medication. This kind of genetic testing has been done for years to treat HIV and hepatitis C, but those tests look at specific gene drug pairings. This test is much more comprehensive. The genes that we're looking at metabolize somewhere between 70 and 90 percent of all the drugs in the formulary. So they're very broad spectrum. So far, psychiatry patients have been among the biggest beneficiaries of pharmacogenomics. In the past, doctors used their best guess about which medication would work. But because it can take two to three months to see results, patients often get discouraged and just stop taking them. Most of them do. And then they fall out of the system. That's how they deal with it. Some of them have good relationships with their physicians and they come back and tell them. A lot of them don't. So this test opens that road up of it's more um, personalized now. So it's about the person, the patient in front of you. The test costs anywhere from $1,800 to $3,200. But Dr. Janjua says there is a growing number of insurance companies willing to cover it because they understand it could ultimately save them money. Think about how much it would cost a person to end up in the hospital. So uh, the wrong antibiotic, the wrong painkiller, or the wrong antidepressant can can have very adverse outcomes. And if you can save that, that's thousands of dollars. Outpatient is cheap. Inpatient, even a week is $50,000 or 40000 That's a huge sum of money, and they understand that. Pharmacogenomics is a relatively new science, started in 2006. But ProMedica scientists are excited about the work they're doing today and the possibilities for the future. We would love to be able to have it as more of a preventative so it's done ahead of time before the patient ever needs to be put on any kind of medication. Um, just because so many medications do have negative side effects and it's like why be on it if you can find out from the start that it's not going to work for you. I really feel that pharmacogenomics is the first big bang that we're going to get from the Human Genome Project. It doesn't get any more cutting edge than this. For Prometica Health Connect, I'm Chris Peterson.